guys we just got a new patch watch for star citizen alpha 4.0 actually the very first one i think we may be seeing a wave one very soon let's talk before we get into this video i'd like to let y'all know that i'm doing a giveaway for an lti argo atlas in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of december let's get into this video all right guys um we just got in a post a uh, spectrum post from cig uh pertaining to a patch watch for star citizen alpha 4.0 all right so Let's just get straight into it it says here they're doing two kinds of updates for this one they're going to be covering quantum travel and the second one will be the economy for alpha 4.0 so pertaining to quantum travel it says here after reducing the quantum travel times overall in the 324.2 star citizen alpha 4.0 introduces new variations in maximum qt speeds acceleration rates and fuel consumption based on each quantum drive grade and class while ensuring balanced performance across all drives really interesting so the behavior of all the drives that we know of are going to change with 4.0 so i'm curious to do some min max testing and see which ones are the best ones all right so okay so it says here each quantum drive now has three core properties fine-tuned for this update to enhance performance and strategic options it says here maximum quantum travel speed acceleration rate to reach maximum qt speed and quantum fuel consumption it says here when activated quantum drive accelerates to the ship's maximum speed and maintains that speed during travel then decelerates as it's near the destination which is what we already know so just looks like these things are all going to change for each quantum drive all right so Moving on into the economy for Star Citizen Alpha 4.0, it says here we're releasing a major overhaul of the in-game economy that will impact almost every aspect of Star Citizen, providing more cohesive and sustainable framework for your journey through the verse. All right, so here are some key changes, a high level of them. Um, it says here, rebalance the price for vehicle components and consumable weapons. All right. When it says consumer weapons we're talking about the missiles and and the bombs that we we purchase so these are going to be a lot more pricier um especially depending on the kind of damage they're capable of so um the bigger size tens are going to be super expensive the moabs for the a2s are going to be super expensive um because of the amount of um damage they can um create i guess so the next one says rebalance quantum and hydrogen fuel prices to account for quantum travel adjustment mentioned above. The next one is FPS gear received similar treatment with price adjustments also touching on ammo, weapon attachments and consumables like food, drink and medical equipment. Really interesting. All right. Next one says here the list of rentable vehicles were also updated. For example, the Banu Defender and the Miss Freelancer Max. All right. Next one is rework the code of every mission, old and new, to align with our updated effort versus reward mechanic, ensuring a balanced experience across the board. This also covers special in-game events, which will offer a higher reward compared to regular missions. Really nice. I think when they say special in-game events, or these are the dynamic events that we are currently experiencing. So the next one says for pyro we focus on high risk high reward concept with new mineables and unique rewards within contested zones so contested zones are going to be hot zones to be quite honest i'm really excited for that to be quite honest all right so it says here pyro outpost for now filled with contextual uh items suited to the harsh environment along with rare items for those brave enough to explore the system's most dangerous reaches this includes the new pico knife holder so it seems like they're going to give us reasons um for us to go out and and take on dangerous locations like contested zones and i'm excited hopefully these rare items are new items that actually have impact in the game and could help you in the game in some shape or fashion um right now the loot table right now in the current build is is kind of boring same stuff all the time it's I, I we need some new stuff we need some new stuff that actually have impact on the game so that's just my thought on that before i let you go i'd like to let y'all know that my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you are interested you can find our discord in the description down below don't forget to leave a like subscribe oh and by the way me and my org mates a few days ago had a 2v1 polaris combat scenario ambush kind of 
um which was really cool i think you should check it out you see it in this video right here